Master, you'd better go. Why should I go? Everybody has to go when Ouyang is here, because he doesn't like other people here. Oh, he doesn't? So what then? He'll kill anyone that he doesn't like. If you want to remain alive, you'd better jump down from here before he arrives. I'll go when I want to. I'll go the same way as I came. No one's ever gonna make me jump down from here. You must be a stranger here. Otherwise, you wouldn't be talking like that here. <laughs> you were offered a chance to jump for your life. Now you'll be thrown down instead, you see. You'll be thrown down after you die. You will be the one to die, not me. You're so very confident. You came here for a special purpose. That's right. You killed a girl at Star Valley ten days ago. She happened to be my younger sister. <laughs> I've had so many women. I can't remember who she is. Star Valley. Star Valley. Oh, now I remember. That's the girl with the mole on her cheek. <laughs> she was extremely good fun. You bastard. You will never see tomorrow morning. I'll tear you to pieces. So it seems I have to do the job myself. I told you so. You'll be thrown down when you die. Sinlan, yes? play me some music to cheer me up a bit. Yes. Lamb? Now let me play a tune for you, for your dying soul. Oh, who are you? <laughs> the Wandering Dragon, Ku Yu Tang. Oh, so you're the very famous Wandering Dragon, Ku Yu Tang. <laughs> you came to our town, what's your reason? I came here especially to get rid of you, O oh Yang Lung. You got a big mouth, Ku Yu Tang. <laughs> Oh, spare my life, please. Spare me, please. The world is merciful. I've never killed anyone. All right, right, right. So please spare my life. Let me go, please. I won't let you go that easy. Oh, spare me. You're even worse than an animal. <laughs> Kill you? I wouldn't dirty my hands. I'll just fix your hands. If you don't behave in the future, then you'll be the first one I kill. Oh, yes, yes. That's the wrong way. Oh, oh, Master, which way should I go then? Don't go on foot. You'll jump. Men like you should only jump. If you don't do it, then I'll throw you down. I'll jump. I'll jump. I'll jump. Ku Yu Tang is really good. He's the best uh, one that I've uh, ever seen. Uh, 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 you're wrong. As long as Tyro and Yip Chung live, then Ku Yu Tang will never be the best. Yeah, I think you're right. This Tyro and Yip Sheng's Kung Fu is even better than Ku Yu Tang. <laughs>
Never has been such a hot day. This late in autumn season. Come on, make it cool. Mm. Aye, good girl. That's my pussycat. Good girl. <laughs> Friend, please make way. <laughs> You're crazy. So noisy. You're disturbing my little pussy. She'll get angry. So what if she does? <laughs> if she does, then she'll kill all the mice. <laughs> Damn it, that old guy's crazy. <laughs> huh? What is this? Playing the fool with us? <laughs> Trying to kill you right now. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know you. Why did you do this to us? Huh? I've been hired to kill you, to warn the Chin Tin clan. Huh? The Chin Tin clan is the biggest clan there is. You dare to challenge us? So you want to die? Huh? Ah! <laughs> I don't understand. Who would hire the cold moon and 12 stars to kill De Kong? Hmm. It must be Master C from pure jade height. He's been trying to destroy our clan so, so he can be the leader. I think he must be the one behind all this. If it was Master C, then he'll make another move for sure. Pilot you. Master. Take your best man with you. Sneak into pure Jade Heights. If there's anything suspicious, report here at once. Right. The Cold Moon and Twelve Stars are a new assassin organization. It said no one escapes their swords. We'll have big trouble if we have them against us. The Twelve Stars have killed many. Now is the right time for us to root them all out. In ten days' time, Master Kuyu Tang will be back here to see Our Lady. You can discuss this with him at that time. Ku has been traveling for many years. It's high time he should settle down. I want him to marry my daughter, Sher, this year. Master Ku is a very decent and a brave man. If they get married, then they will make a perfect couple. Today was our wedding day. I'd be happier. Are you proposing to me? I hope you won't refuse me. Do you know, the first time that I saw you, I knew I wouldn't say no to you. Next year when I return, you'll become my wife. Now, you'll be ill going on like this. And I'm not thinking of Kuyu 
you, Tad. Uh, now you say it yourself. <laughs> Tad, you're teasing me. <laughs> the two of you, playing chess on a snowy day. To Yu Tang. <laughs> Yu Tang, what on earth are you doing here? Since I drank your special brew and got drunk for three days two years ago, I, I miss you very much, so I thought I'd come and get drunk with Please. you again. <laughs> Yu Tang, I admire your style very much and your drinking capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the number one bodyguard has become a hermit for three years now. I must say I admire your style and your courage. I was much too involved with... with all those killings and the clan. Thanks to my wife, she made me get out of it all. Thanks. A man can't resist beauty. If I had a wife as beautiful as yours, I do the same thing too. Hey, Miss Lung of Chinting Clan is even prettier. <laughs> oh yeah, when are you gonna get married? Very soon. I'm back this time, so we can marry. Oh, that is really very good news. Now we must have a drink on that. My own special brew. <laughs> I've changed. After Cher and I get married, I'll take her and travel around the world. Then we'll live as hermits and won't get involved in a martial arts business. <laughs> good. That's a very good idea. I've got a better idea. Uh, it's more interesting drinking under the silvery moonlight out in the snow. <laughs> Close ring. Cheers. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> this, this is the real way to drink. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> How can they drink like that? <laughs> These swordsmen, they never change. Reporting, Master. I leave you. Anything from pure Jadeites? From what I found out, De Kong was killed by the third star, Hua Hu Cheng. And it was Master Si who hired him. That's what I expected. I want to see what kind of tricks he's up to now. Master, why don't we take action first? Destroy Pure Jade Heights, so that will get them off our backs. Pure Jade Heights is not the threat. It's the cold moon and 12 stars. They have sworn to kill the Master in three days. That's ridiculous. Even if they think they have the skills, they can't say things like that. I think there is only one way, so you don't have to worry about them giving you trouble. What way? Honey Pew, you betray us! I was killed when he was at home in George Aid Heights. Honey Pew, are you one of the 12 stars? That's right. I'm the second. See you later. Huh. Old moon and 12 stars.
I planned to marry you when I came back. I didn't expect to see your dad killed. I will avenge my father. But still, the most important thing is, I have to carry his responsibility on my shoulders. I won't stand for these evil men. You're a brave woman. You will be a good leader. If only your father knew, he'd be proud of you. But the thing is, I've always studied. I'm not a fighter. How can I compete? Cher, you should know. Sometimes it's more effective to use your brains to fight than swords. That's right. I will do anything just now to destroy the cold moon and 12 stars and pure jade heights. But cold moon is very secretive. No one knows who he is. Some people think that he is that playboy, the killer Yip Shun. Master C is a very devious man and mysterious. I suspect he is Cold Moon. There is only one way to find out whether he is or not. What's that? I'll force him to tell me at sword point. That would be the quickest way, and most effective, too. Tomorrow I'll take Tam Fong and go to Pure Jade Heights. In case I get killed, you can ask two other men to help destroy Cold Moon. Who are they? The bodyguard half-life Tai Ro. Also, the devil killer, Yip Shun. Show yourself, friend. I know you're hiding out behind the tombs. <laughs> hey, Tang, you're really smart. <laughs> Shulin, so you came to commit suicide. Because tonight you'll pay for what you did. The 12 stars only deal in certainties. But we came here for you. So you'll be dead soon. Whoever it is we want to kill. They certainly don't escape. That includes you, Ku Yudang. But there are only seven men in this whole world who can take Master Ku's life. Unfortunately, you aren't any of them. You're wrong. Now I've joined. We're together. We're as good as any of those seven men. If I am correct, you must be the first star of the Cold Moon and Twelve Stars. You'll be dead soon. Save your breath. <laughs> to take her revenge, send more capable men. Go! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Kuyu Yu Tang? The Twelve Stars are really terrible. I can't understand why they did nothing at all to you. They may have got other plans. I don't know Kung Fu, so I'm not a problem. So now I don't think they have any rivals in the martial world. As I know, there are at least two other men who can fight them. Who are they? Half-Life Tyro and the killer Yip Sim. Maybe they can take care of Cold Moon and his 12 stars, but Tyro's become a hermit three years ago. No one can persuade him to fight again. And Yip Sim, he'd only kill for a woman. Unless you want to sacrifice yourself, he's not interested. Yip Sim, if he'd kill for me, then I'd give him my body. But miss, you're highly respected. You can't let that rascal do that to you. In order to destroy them, I'd rather sacrifice myself. This concerns your happiness and your welfare. I've decided. My decision's final. Yip-Sung, so you are here all alone. You must feel very lonely. Beautiful view and lovely house. But still, you lack just one thing, an important thing. What's that? A woman. A woman who can satisfy a man like you. Nonsense. You want me to kill for you. That's right. I'm May. I'll do anything. I'm yours tonight. Early tomorrow morning, you will kill a man for me, won't you? Sun Kong Ling. Why do you want him killed? He's left me. He's found another woman. If I were him, I'd do the same. Why's that? Because all cheap women disgust me. In fact, they make me sick. And you're a cheap woman. You're very wrong. You should look more carefully, hmm? Only a woman like me can make a man feel good. Especially a man like you, who enjoys women. Well, now, once you're in bed with me, you'll find out why people call me the best there is. You take off your clothes every time. You see a man, you really make me sick. You don't want me? Go away. I'll get sicker the longer you stay here, and I'll leave me alone. Pig! Yip Sung, you're not a man, you bastard. You'll regret this, goddamn you. <laughs> hey, Miss May, you go away, or I'll get rough with you. I'm not May. Who are you? I'm Long Sher. You are said to be the most beautiful woman in the country. So it's true. You're prettier than I thought. Why'd you come here? I came here with the same purpose. You kill a man, and you'll have my body. Do you know I have rules? Only one night with a woman. And you'll kill one man for her. That's right. But the important thing is that the woman must be pretty. What about me? Only a fool or a madman would think you're not pretty. And I'm certainly not a fool. And I'm not mad. Sorry I did this to you. I should not have done that to a lady. Remember, I want you to kill Cold Moon.
Yip Sung always keeps his word. Since he promised to kill Cold Moon, I'm sure he cannot be Cold Moon. So it seems Master C is the only suspect. Well, I've thought about it lately. There is still another man. Who? Tyro. Why do you think it's him? Because after he became a hermit three years ago, it was then that the Cold Moon and Twelve Stars appeared. So I suspect that he is the one behind who controls them. He became a hermit after marrying his wife? Perhaps that was just an excuse. Maybe it was all planned. Well, he is a swordsman. This is possible. And only a skillful man like him could control the Twelve Stars. That is why I insist that you do not go to him. You'll fall into his trap. No way. Whether he is Cold Moon or not, I must go to see him myself. If he can promise to help me get revenge, that means he is not Cold Moon. But if Tyro is Cold Moon, then you're going to your own death. That is the only chance left. I must destroy the Cold Moon and the Twelve Stars if it takes everything I've got to do it. Are you Master Tyro? Yes, what can I do for you? I'm Lung She. I came to ask you a favor. Oh, I've heard about you. Please come inside. Uh, will you please promise me one thing here and now? Or I won't go inside with you. <laughs> you Tang and I are very old friends. If there's anything I can do, please tell me straight. My dad and Yu Tang have been killed by the Twelve Stars. Huh? Yu Tang and your father are dead? I came here especially to ask for your help. Uh, it's a real tragedy. Yu Tang was here a few days ago. And now, he's gone forever. I can't do it alone. So please help me to take revenge. Uh, Miss Long, stand up. If you don't promise me, I'll never get up. You should know that I've sworn to my wife never to take up my sword again. The stars have killed so many people. Can you just stand and watch them go on killing? I have sworn to my wife that I won't take up my sword again. You're very good at Kung Fu. It's not supposed to be hidden. Why not contribute what you have to uphold justice? Miss Lung, you know that I have a family now. I really can't help. Now you must leave. If you don't promise me, I'll stay here. like a brother to you. So you won't take revenge for him? These killings are not uncommon in the martial arts world. There's no end to it. So what's the point in getting involved? I just had a few deaths, that's all. I'm very surprised that you actually feel like that. This hermit living here has been trained to be calm. No one can persuade me to kill again.
torture yourself like this. No matter what, my husband will not kill again. would be much stronger. Don't you sympathize with her? When I first married you, I swore to you that I would quit. I'm not gonna let you down. go, then come in and rest. There's no one who can stand this bitter cold. If you want to help me then, please ask Master Tai to help me. He won't do it, because he's so tired of all these killings. No. I know he is deeply in love with you. He doesn't want to make you unhappy. You're a woman, so you should understand. A husband is the center of a woman. Being a woman myself, of course I don't want to lose him. It's like you losing Ku Yu Tang. It's our duty to uphold justice. Master Tai is a skillful man. He shouldn't just sit and watch Cold Moon do all these evil things. I've been thinking. You want to help? I won't evade doing my duty. A swordsman should contribute himself to the good. <laughs> In fact, I was about to ask you. You won't feel sad? Ever since we were married, I've prepared for this day to finally arrive. A swordsman will never change. If you don't kill, then others will kill you. Don't worry. You're forgetting my nickname is Half-Life. No one can kill me. So, just because you're called by that name, so you must treasure it, then no one can take your life away from you. <laughs> you're my angel. You're a terrific woman. Miss Long, you win. You promise me? Even a rock can be moved by your strength. And I'm a true man. I'm so happy, I don't know what to say. Uh, don't say anything now. But tell me, where can I find Cold Moon? We think that Cold Moon is Master C at Pure Jade Height. You know, what happened? 
happens to intruders around here? They do not come out alive. You know that you're going to die as well. Dragon image style. If you can't kill me in three strokes, then you'll be the ones who are going to die right. Who the hell are you? Tell us your name. Whether you know it or not, you'll die soon. As you're gonna die, why bother asking? <laughs> You have killed the eight dragons with five strokes. You're very special. Who are you? The very precious half-life. The one who can live forever. So you're the famous bodyguard, Half-Life Tyro. <laughs> you're already retired. Now you've come here. For what reason? You go and inform your Master C that I'd like to meet him. Master C has gone to sleep already, so he won't receive any guests now. If I want to see him, he'll see me even if he's dead. Go and wake him. Nobody can make me disobey. My master, you're dreaming. <laughs> you're loyal. Usually, loyal men don't last very long. sleep forever, then get up and answer my question. Don't try your tricks here. Get up quickly. A dead man cannot talk. Master C is a dead man now, so he can't talk to you. Did you kill Master C? That's right. Just one stroke, and he lay down forever. Why did you kill him? Hmm. Because he refused to say if he was Cold Moon. So we came here for the same purpose. Why do you want to find this Cold Moon? It's a woman. A woman who I'll do anything for. If you can kill C so easily, that proves he is not Cold Moon. If C isn't the one, then you must be Cold Moon, Tyro. Why's that? Because the Cold Moon only appeared after you retired. And only you're good enough to do it. <laughs> you have a very good imagination. I was just thinking that you are Cold Moon. Huh? I'm not. Yes or no, you and I know very well that no thief admits that he's stolen things. I won't waste my time arguing. You mark my words. Someday I'll expose you and your secret. This isn't a bed for women. Oh? <laughs> Everyone. 
knows Yip Sun has his very own special bed for women. Huh. There's a more comfortable bed in the house. That's the one for my women. It's said that you only select women who have extra special qualities about them. Do you think that I'm qualified? Who'd you want dead? Tyro. That so-called half-life Tyro. Then you can have it. Why'd you want to kill me in bed? If a woman wants to kill a man, this is the best place for her to do it. Fiddy, that you pick me. If I were that easy to kill, then I should have died a thousand times. How do you know I want to kill you? Because you insisted on taking off your clothes yourself. Those kind of women always pose a threat to me. So I should let you do it? But still, he wouldn't have succeeded. Because I'm very alert when taking off a woman's clothes. Because one never knows if there's a weapon inside. <laughs> You're really very smart. You live up to your name. I knew I shouldn't try you, Yip Sheng. I'll tell you the truth. Since I met a woman who I'm crazy about, other women don't interest me anymore. Then why'd you still take me to bed? Because I know you've got some kind of... Uh, Secret plan. Who are you? Huh. I'm the fifth star of the cold moon and twelve stars. I'm ordered to come here and kill you. Who's cold moon? I can't tell you. I don't know how to treat a woman nicely. If you want to become an ugly girl, then you can keep quiet. Some pretty girls aren't scared of death, but they're scared of being ugly. Don't do that! Cold Mooney! <laughs> Keep strong. You should mind your own business. You shouldn't check on us. Because no one will find out who Cold Moon is. All those who want to know will die. The same way as Ku Yu Tang. Many wanted to kill me. But so far, I'm still alive. Blossom Villa has been your private palace. But now it'll be your burial ground. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Inspect your cold mode. So I followed you. Tyrell, 
I owe you a life. Huh. I didn't mean to come and save you. I just don't want, want you to get killed by those bastards. You don't have to take it to heart. I never owe anybody. Someday I will repay you. Huh. Maybe someday we'll have to fight to death. Miss Loom. Why do you have to kill him? He acts suspicious. Maybe he's Cold Moon. It can't be. He can't possibly be Cold Moon. No. Why is that? Because he promised to kill Cold Moon. You gave yourself to him? So that's why. I don't think he's Cold Moon. Cold Moon can control all the 12 stars. He must be a skillful man. An evil man like him, with skill, can do anything. What you say is true. It seems that you can't trust anyone now. That's right. If you want to stay alive, you mustn't trust anybody. That includes Yip Shun. That includes you, too. <laughs> I was just kidding. Look, you're so worried. Huh. I've come to know that Miss Lung is very clever. Everyone has the right to live. Besides, I'm now the master of Chin Tin Clan. I have to be more careful. I can see that you have many secrets. Everyone has secrets. I believe you do too. If I told you you were called Moon, would you be surprised? That's ridiculous. Everyone knows Lung Tin Ho was my dad, Ku Yu Tang, my fiance. How can you say that I killed them? <laughs> but you're only Lung's adopted daughter. You could have killed the two of them for your own personal reasons. Now, there is logic in that. No one trusts the other one. Tell me, is this the kind of life a swordsman has to lead? Before we find out who Cold Moon is, everyone's a suspect. It's a test of wit. I'm sure it'll be a good show. That's right. Tomorrow there'll be a good show. Because Tam Fong has found out that Tiger Grove is the meeting place for Cold Moon and the Twelve Stars. You should take a look there. Place. You get out. But I want to stay here. If you would like to see the sun tomorrow, get out right now. I told you I don't want to go. You don't want to go? <laughs> What's worth more, your life or your eggs? My life, of course. Then leave the eggs behind. <laughs> but I think the eggs are worth more than your lives. Bastard, you want to interfere in our affair? You must be tired of living. Hmm. That's right. I am tired of living. So that's why I've only got half a life. Huh? So you are what people call half-life Tyro? Huh? Is there another? Another half-life in this world? Huh? No, we didn't know it was you. Oh, please, please forgive, forgive us. us. Oh, we're sorry. If you do it again, I'll kill you all. Get lost. Right. So. Huh? I didn't tell you to walk. You can both roll. Huh? All right. Okay. Oh. All right. Buddha bless you. You've committed a sin. How can you attack someone from behind? I know already. This is a trap set up by you bastards. That's right. I'm the Black Star. We planned this to trap you. Because you're a clever man, we can't just take you by force. Uh, you're scared I'll find out who Cold Moon is. You're smart. But smart men normally don't live long. Especially you, you goddamn bald head. You should go to hell. <laughs> Thank you.
What do you mean? <laughs> if you knew I am the fourth star of Cold Moon and the Twelve Stars, then you would not be so surprised. So a monk cheats also. Huh. So why can't a monk? A monk has to eat? <laughs> that was a very devious trick that you played on me. <laughs> because we know that just the Black Star alone can't take you. So I made this plan to take you when you are unprepared. You're very smart, all of you. <laughs> In order to beat you, that was the only way. How did you find out that I'd come here? No one can keep a secret from the 12 stars. And what are you gonna do with me now? We'll take you to see a woman. She's the one you've been looking for. You mean Cold Moon? That's right. Cold moon, and one you never suspected. Why is Cold Moon not here yet? She'll be here in her own time. What's the hurry? I'm very impatient with waiting, especially for women. <laughs> Don't forget, you are a prisoner now. Huh. Even if you put a knife at my throat, you wouldn't change me one bit. You're a real man. I respect you and your style, Half-Life Tyro. You are Cold Moon? Not only that, I'm also the young mistress of Chin Tin Clan. Otherwise, how they know you go to Tiger Grove. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because you must be a very ugly woman. That's why you've disguised yourself as a beautiful Miss Long. So how did you find out that I am not Lady Long? <laughs> because a bitch can never, ever imitate a lady's voice, no matter how hard she's gonna try. It's said that one can be anyone's enemy, but never be Ty Rowe's enemy. So now I see, the saying is quite true. You're disguised as Miss Long, so you think that I would kill her. Oh, that's right. Since you found out now, then we will proceed with our next plan. This is a poison called Seven Nights, and if you don't have the antidote, you will die within seven days. You want to poison me? If you kill Yip Sung in seven days, then we'll give you the antidote. <laughs> this is another one of your tricks. But how do I know that you will not go back on what you say? You have no choice but to trust me. Then you will still have a chance to remain alive. And what if I say no? <laughs> <laughs> then you will die. Right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat that. And I'm not gonna die. But you were paralyzed. Now that you know that I can counter that, you shouldn't be surprised. I've got business, so I'll leave it to you. Why'd you still protect them? The Buddha says, one should not kill. As you're a monk yourself, you should know that better than I do. 
I have done too many evil things in the past. Buddha will never forgive me. If only you'll tell me who he is. Then you've done a good deed. Um, cold moon is... <laughs> To Chen Tin Clan, Miss Yilong, maybe. Oh. Miss Lung, how can you fish without a fishing hook? The fish is in my mind. I don't have to hook it. Yip Shun. You shouldn't come here. Ever since you left me at Blossom Villa the other day, I've missed you very much indeed. So I came here specially to see you. You should know that love is a swordsman's taboo. If only you will accept my love. I'll do anything, anything, anything at all for you. What if I want you to kill Tyro? You son, why are you trying to kill me? You're underestimating me. <laughs> if you're the real Miss Luck, I'll do anything. I'll even kill Tyro. A pity you're not. How did you find out that I'm not Miss Lung? Because you use a different perfume to that of Miss Lung's. Usually women like different clothes but they seldom change their perfume. It's still worth it to be killed by you. Smart. You're very smart to live up to your name, Yip Shou. If you're really in love with Miss Long, then you should rescue her. I know you've a way for me, and you'll tell me soon. That's right. If you kill Tyro for us, then we'll release her. Yip Shou. You can't promise them. I promise you. <laughs> if you kill Tyro in seven days, you can have her back. And the antidote. Don't take it. Don't fall into their trap. Yip so you mustn't eat that poison. I don't care. I will do anything if I can rescue you. <laughs> That's good. We'll await your good news. Let's go. to borrow your life. I don't know what you're talking about. Miss Lung was captured by the 12 stars. They'll exchange your life for hers. I've always valued my half-life. You can't take it away. But let me tell you, I'm in love with Miss Lung. I'll kill you in order to save her. Don't forget, you still owe me a life. Huh. I'll give you my own life for yours in order to save her. So what's the point? You should know, when a merciless man is suddenly in love, he'll go crazy. But I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to kill you either, but for Miss Lung's safety, I'll have to break my word for once. <laughs> your rainbow style. It's very effective. I'd like to try it this time. Hey. 
It is said that you have never lost once so far. We'll find out soon. Stop fighting. Miss Lung let herself be captured. Why did she do that? Because she wants to find Cold Moon's hideout. That's too dangerous for her. It's too risky. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is a good way. You're right, Master Tai. She arranged all this. I sent people to follow. They left tracks. Hmm. This is the seventh day. If Yip Sheng didn't kill Tai Ro, so then Miss Lung Cho will certainly die too. But you will all certainly be the ones to die. How did you know we were here? You brought us here, of course. So you have followed us here. You're smart. It's a pity you realized it too late. <laughs> Yip Sheng, you should know you won't live through today. Since you've given me the poison, you'll have to give me the antidote. Unless you kill Tyro. I'm not sure I can kill him. So I figured out a better way. Hmm. What's that? If I kill you, then I can get the antidote from you. Because it's easier to kill you than Tyro. <laughs> so they don't have the antidote? I think only Cold Moon could have it. You're wrong! In fact, Seven Knights has no antidote. You cunning bastard. Huh. The more cunning I am, the longer I'll live, is that right? You see who's behind you. Don't you try anything now. Tam Fong, you bastard, so you betrayed Chintin clan. You're wrong. In fact, I'm the seventh star of the cold moon and twelve stars. No wonder they knew I'd go to Tiger Grove. You were the one who informed them. I made you all come here so we'd kill you all together. <laughs> I think the poison in you. Is now working, Yip Sern. Anjin Fu, if you release Miss Lung, I'll kill myself. So you don't have to worry about me. Worry about you? You'll soon die of poisoning. This kind of deal, we're not interested. Nanjin Fu, but I'm interested in your death. Tan Fu, what do you mean by that? I mean if the two of them want to kill you now, I don't mind. Tan Fu, you better make it straight because someone has paid me more to betray the 12 stars. Hmm? Who the hell is he? <laughs> Oh! 
Very good. A very good show. Turn from. Fetch Miss Lung over here. Sir. Master C. So the one I had killed was somebody else. That's right, because I already knew you'd come here sooner or later. So I arranged somebody else to take my place. You paid Tam Fong to betray Chinting Clan. So you'll become the leader. Mm -hmm. I hired Cold Moon and 12 stars to destroy them. So I can fulfill my wish to be number one in the martial arts world. <laughs> Master C, you're as stupid as a pig. So you want to become the number one? Ha! You're daydreaming. Who are you? I'm Cold Moon. I think I really misjudged you. Swordsmen can never afford any mistakes, because one is enough to ruin your whole life. Kill him! <laughs> Now you don't have to hide your face from us. <laughs> You'll know who I am when you're dying. I've ruined too many girls. You believe me. I really love you.
so you aren't dead. That's right. My false death was only a trap. So I can carry on my plan to kill you and Yip Shun. You were one of the greatest swordsmen here. Why would you do such a thing? As long as Yip Shun and Tyro are living, I can never be number one. That's why I arranged all this to kill them. What do you prove by doing this? <laughs> I'm challenging myself. You will understand. After a man climbs a mountain, he wants to climb even a higher mountain. I used to feel the same way. But then I realized, the higher I am, the harder I will fall. I'd rather be a hermit in the mountains. Huh. A pity I'm not like you, Tyro. And I don't want to be a hermit. I only want to be the number one man in the martial arts world. <laughs> Swordsmen are doomed. Swordsmen are doomed to be failures. Oh, really? That's so... Uh... 